Hello, my name is Nico Rockensuis. I am the CEO of Mindfield. And in this video, I would like to introduce to you our new eSense EE Genius Neurofeedback Home Training device. It is a very innovative and excellent device for home training. And in this video, I want to show you how to use the hardware, how to set up the device, how to use the electrodes and caps that comes with the device. So giving you an overview about how to start. Well, in another video, I'm going to show you the software side. So everything from the web application that comes with the eSense e Genius, And with that application, you can do the neurofeedback training. But before you can do that, of course, I need to show you and I need to explain to you how to set up and use the device. And we decided not to write manuals anymore, old style. We decided to do such videos like this. And it's just the better choice, I think, to explain and show everything in detail. So you can watch this video, uh, do it together with me, or stop and pause and uh, repeat. So you can always also check out later how to use the eGenius at any time. Let's have a look. At first, you got a small suitcase with the eSense eGenius and the device itself. It comes with such a clip to fixate the device at your cloth. This is the, the reason for that is that we want to keep the cables short to your head to the electrodes connected to your head. So this is the device. And the first thing you need to do is of course charge the device. We include a charger with a USB-C cable. You can also use another smartphone USB-C charger. So here at this side you have the USB-C input. Just plug in the cable you see a red light, meaning it's charging and turning green when the limit is reached and the device is full. You have approximately eight hours constant operation time with one full charging cycle. So um, it should be more enough to do a couple of neurofeedback sessions and you can always recharge easily. Beside the device, we have the electrode cables, three of them, and they are color-coded so you easily know you have a yellow, a black and a white cable and you have the same similar color jacks and bushes here. So just plug them in like that, suiting the right colors and you have prepared the device with the cables. Now I'm going to show you the electrodes and the cap and let me switch for another camera. So here we have the device with the cables. We have one tiny bottle of um, natrium chloride solution. That is such a dropping bottle. Yeah, you can um, squeeze the end and have some natrium chloride inside and you can put some drops out. I got a little plate that's not included. I got that from my child's kitchen because it's nice to have to wetten three of these white um, tiny parts that uh, soak with a natrium chloride solution. And we have electrodes. One of these round electrodes here that are for like zoom in a little bit, yeah, that are for being used on your head, yeah. And you have another replacement of that included in the starter kit. And you have such an ear clip electrodes. Um, two of them you need and you have some spare one as well included and they you see three have three snap button connectors and I will show you later how you snap them on to the cables of the eGenius but before you can do this you need 
um, to wetten these white little parts here with natrium chloride. And to do that, I use this little, little here. And I apply some of these drops, I use the little plate, I apply some of these drops here on the plate without touching for hygienic reasons, not touching with the tip. And I apply about five to 10 drops here, you see, to these white parts. Okay. And now I let them wet in a little bit while I'm going to show you how to use the included Essence E-Genius cap. Yeah. We have this cap and it was developed to be easy to apply, suiting hopefully most heads and hairs. Easy for me without hair to apply. With a lot of hair it's a bit more difficult, but it should work. We have already tested it a lot. And I show you how to use it. You need to first roughly adjust here at this mechanism the uh, diameter so it is applied like that on your head so that it will fit your head approximately. For me it's already adjusted quite well, it's like, like that. And then this comes to the back. So I put it on like this and this, yeah? And when, I, when you look from the side you see that the other band here is approximately at the position of my ears while at the top this band should go over the highest part of your head. Yeah, so you can always readjust. You can also pull here at the sides and move these parts a little bit so that they're at a good position. And we are reaching the international 1020 positions CZ, C3 and C4, yeah? So when you have this here in the middle over the highest point of your head, it's approximately the sensomotoric cortex we want to use. And the typical neurofeedback position I'm going to show you and to use is CZ here in the middle. And that's why we have, you see, three white um, markers here. Yeah, you can feel them. That's why they are like this, that you cannot only see, you can also feel them because you need them at this position. You should put the electrode below the cap. Yeah. It should not be too tight. Uh, it should be comfortable to wear over a longer time. And now this is how it looks for me. And you can also, if you like, change the positions if you pull it to the front or to the back. But this please only do when you have talked to your supervisor and you have been instructed to change the position. Otherwise, if you have no instructions, use the cap like I do now, put it on like this and make sure it's over your ears going over the highest point of your head here. Yeah. Okay. So now I have set up the cap. Now let's go back here and our little, these little white parts here have been soaked with natrium chloride. I um, squeeze them a little bit so that um, the solution that is not needed is dropping out. And now I put them in here in the electrodes. These electrodes have a little, little deeper um, part here where you can put them in like that. Yeah, Don't bend that too much. 
put them in like that. And second one, you see how I do this. And the third one. Okay. So now they are connected to the electrode inside. You can also, when you have them already inside of that, and then apply the droppings of natrium chloride, you can do that. But the way I showed you now is the more appropriate way that you can be 100% sure that um, they are wet enough. Yeah. And now how to connect them. So we have two ear electrodes and we have one for the head. And we have three cables with the colors. So the black one is always the head, yeah, like this. And the white and the yellow one are one ear, while it does not matter which one you use, yeah. So one is the reference, one is the ground. And now I have these three electrodes, you see. And I'm going to fixate the device now on my clothing. That for, for doing that, I put it somewhere here, probably best at the side, uh, at my pullover shirt. I bent a little bit this clip here, because I have a thick pullover here. It's getting cold in Germany now. And um, like this, or a little bit more here. And now these electrodes should be connected. First, I always use the black one here. And now I don't want to have it hanging here in front of my face. I pull it under, push it under the cap like this. Hope you can see this. And that's it, yeah? The other electrodes I apply to my earlobe. Please remove any um, earrings you may have. Make sure this white thing is soaked and sitting in there. And this is the setup, yeah? Maybe look Looks a bit funny, but it's easy, it's quick. We have tested a lot of different types of electrodes and caps and everything. And this came out to be the most reliable, the most easy to use and comfortable to use over a longer time. So you have only this natrium chloride solution. You need to apply, soak these little pads, put them in, put the electrodes on with the cap. Once the cap is adjusted to your head, you probably will never readjust it. Attach the device like this, or you put it there or a bit more to the back, or more to the front, as long as it does not disturb you. And now this is, this is it from the hardware part. Uh, you can reuse the electrodes a lot of times. If you encounter, if you see that they're really getting, um, yeah, not looking good anymore. Um, the electrodes, if you want to clean them, please you only use water. Destiled water would be best, but normal water would be okay for a couple times. Um, the little white pads, uh, clean them before you apply the next time the natrium chloride. Also with water, you can wash them. It is okay to apply natrium chloride maybe two, three times to the same pad and then wash it or replace it. You have a couple of spare ones. You can, use, you can use them if you wash them for like 10, 20 measurements, of course, without issues. You can decide yourself how they're looking, if they're looking still are in a good shape and doing a good signal, then they're okay to use. You can always reorder from our shop some replacement electrodes, some replacement caps. Um, they're really cheap and um, this was also yeah, 
our our idea when developing all this to make neurofeedback available to everybody and affordable to everybody with this device and this device is really the latest state of the art in electronics in EEG signal processing it has a real time online impedance check checking the connection of your electrodes all the time so whenever an electrode would get loose during the recording you would have an interruption immediately and you need to reapply or readjust so you can be sure and this is i think the most important thing for neurofeedback at home that you have a good data quality and you can be sure that you have because we are very caring a lot about data quality with this online impedance check of the device we interrupt as soon as we have a bad contact and we also measure muscle artifacts in a very convenient and um, innovative way. So whenever you have a lot of movements in your head, you bite your teeth or something, the training will also stop immediately to make sure we have really good data. Because only with good data quality you will have good training results. A lot of other neurofeedback home training devices do not have, I think there are not that many, but they don't have this particular well checking of data quality. Yeah, for me, it's the most important thing. One last thing in this video, uh, if your head is small or you're using with children, we have another cap, this one, this orange one. It's smaller, same principle. Uh, you can get that from us if you think that this cap is too large for you. This should suit most adults, but for very tiny heads and children, we have this smaller cap available also in our shop. And you can choose when ordering the starter kit um, with the Essence eGenius, which cap you would like to have. So thank you for listening. Now the next step would be setting up the software, starting the device, checking the electrodes and impedance. And um, I will do this in the next video. I will keep this set up now like this and please watch the next video if you would like to see if everything is connected well, uh, how to improve the connection if not and how to start the first training in the app and everything. Thank you very much for watching this first video. See you soon. Bye bye.